Welcome to Allies or Enemies. We play a lot of games with usually just the two of us, and this time we'll be talking about Great Western Trail, where most Western games revolve around gunslinging and outlaws. Great Western Trail keeps things on the straight and narrow, with a game based around building Western towns, riding a locomotive, and most importantly, wrangling cattle to sell to folks out west. Created by popular designer Alexander Pfister, it is a medium weight game with room for two to four ranchers. To be honest, it really wasn't on our radar until we noticed it up near the top of the board gaming charts and then found it for a good price. And we are happy we made the leap. Let's talk about why. Core of the game is fairly simple. You mosey along the path from your homestead to the train station, stopping at buildings along the way to sell cows, buy cows, build buildings, visit locals, remove roadblocks, get funds, move trains, visit stations, pick up goals, and hire cowboys, craftsmen, and engineers to help with all of that. When you reach the station, you try to do so with a nice hand of mixed and valuable cows so you can help ship them as close to San Francisco as possible. Although they do come back to your hands, so we assume you just send them on a nice cow vacation. It's set collection, action selection, engine building, and a bunch of other things at once, but it's weirdly simple, and this is partly because of the terrific icons on everything, and partly because of Fister's slick, well-made system. There's more to it than that simple overview, but the rule book's really well designed, making it easy to get a handle on all of it in under an hour, and you'll explain it to a greenhorn in 15 minutes. You might first look at this and think that the path will make it run on rails, but that could not be further from the truth because the buildings and farmhands and roadblocks and pretty much everything is set up randomly each game. Every game will play totally differently. It makes a huge difference if the cow market is on the first space or the last, or if the market is filled with craftsmen who help you build, or cowboys for wrangling. And that's before the players start putting out their own buildings, which have two sets and way more than you will ever build in a game. It's all made of so many elegantly moving parts that can move in a million different ways to tell a million different little Western tales. And if it ever does get stale, you can pick up the expansion that adds some new mechanics and lets you expand your cow empire all the way to New York City. Great Western Trail is chock-a-block with cool cowpoke style. The board does a great job creating a ranch-tastic sandbox that gets populated by classic Western buildings. The cow cards are both pretty to look at and easy to quickly identify, and the player mats, while a smidge flimsy, are well laid out. It's a testament to Fister's sleek design, how much the game is able to do without adding hundreds of pieces. When you reach a new city, you mark it with a circle from your board, which opens up a new ability. New workers move from the hiring row onto your board, then onto stations, you visit doing different jobs at each stop. It's smart and keeps the cost of the whole package almost weirdly low. The biggest iffy here is the box cover, which looks a bit like those Sierra computer games of the 90s, but don't judge this book by its cover. This game works great for two. It scales well by adding less workers to the hiring board and keeping things to roughly six-ish trips to the train station. The biggest difference will be in the number of buildings added to town, which will speed up the flow, as there are a few less stops, but this isn't a negative, as we find the game length hits that perfect sweet spot of 60 to 90 minutes, and usually leaves us wishing we had just one more round, which is always a good sign, and there are still plenty of options in town to build, buy, move, and sell your cows. And there is plenty of interaction in building, racing to the various stores, and mostly setting the pace and forcing your opponent to speed up to keep up with your speedy cow selling machine. Like we said at the top, this one was a bit of an impulse buy due to the high ranking on Board Game Geek and the low cost. And it's been maybe the biggest surprise in our collection. In fact, we've since picked up a couple of other Alexander Fister games. The key to the game is the hidden depth that lies under the elegant design. That and it's got cowboys. And that theme isn't tacked on. It doesn't just feel like picking up cards and building a hand. It feels like visiting cattle markets and riding the rails and popping into saloons with everything but the spittoon and the saddle sores. 
a great step up for folks who have a few gateway games under their belt and want to check out a game with a bit more under the hood, and it's a must-buy for anyone that's already deep into the hobby. In the words of Doc Holliday, this one will be your huckleberry. And that is it. We are always interested in hearing your thoughts and any other recommendations you might have, and hopefully we will see you all next time for another game.